Well, I did a test fire today on this cast core and I burned out the sacrificial wooden core liner so uh, there's I posted videos of that I don't know if you've seen it yet or not but after the wooden core is burnt out uh, this is what I this is what I'm left with this is what I got so when I knocked out this uh, I had a mold pipe in there when I was uh, pouring the the core, but I took when I knocked that mold out. There was a I lost a chunk here. It's not a real big chunk, and it's not a real big deal because I got to put a riser on here anyway, so I can patch that up if I have to. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do yet for a riser, but uh, I had this double wall stainless pipe on there just for uh, experimental purposes just for burning out the core and it seemed to work really good but what my plan is to have a, a riser and a bell just like a conventional rocket stove and uh, and I should have a riser that can take the heat you know so I'm not sure what I'm going to make the riser out of yet, but I better figure something out soon, I guess. I think my plan, my original plan was to cast it the same as this, cast it out of refractory cement. So I might do that, but it's been like over a year since I designed this, or since uh, almost a year since I started making this project. And uh, I can't really remember what I was gonna do with the with the riser, but just because I had an original plan, uh, I'm not sure what my original plan was. But there's so many different things I could do here, different possibilities. So anyway, let's have a look at these ports now that the uh, now that the wooden uh, the sacrificial wooden liners burnt out. We've got nice smooth. Uh, Nice smooth edges here. You can see you can see the line here where where I poured uh, where I ran out of refractory cement. Or is it that line down there? I'm not sure. I think it's that line down there actually. So my refractory cement is. Uh, see if I can stick my hand in the front port right here. My refractory cement is is that deep. Plus, um, plus deeper. So I've got like, I don't know, probably four inches of refractory cement and then another four inches of, uh, the last batch I poured was not refractory cement. It was regular concrete and, uh, fireplace mortar mixed with perlite. So the top four inches, we got a different, uh, different mixture here. So anyway, um, I just worked with what I had. And I didn't really want to buy any more refractory cement because it's not cheap. But this is the front port. Now that the wood is burnt out, you can see uh, there's some ashes here, of course, and that's to be expected. I'm glad I'm, I made this a little bit oversized. I think my last one was 5 inches, and this one is 6 inches. They're 6 and a half wide by 6. So it's a little bit bigger than 6 inches. But I'm kind of glad I did because I wanted a bigger feed port. Not not like a batch box, but something a little bit bigger. And uh, room for ashes too because ashes can choke up your stove, right? So with a bigger port or with a big burn chamber, there's room for ashes. Now, I might have to take, uh, take like something flat and pull the ashes out every couple burns or I don't know. We'll do. We'll have to see. This was with. Um, this is how much ash is left after burning, after burning a little bit of paper and a little bit of soft wood. So, I don't know. I have to do some more testing with uh, hardwood and m possibly pellets, but I don't know. I had a hell of a time building pellet feeders for my last unit, for my other unit. So. I might not uh, go into all that trouble or all that work. I might just burn regular wood from the property. 
anyway, um, yeah, that's what that's, that's what I got right now. And uh, the test fire I did today, the test fire worked out really well. Uh, there blew a little bit of steam off at first, but uh, I think that helped a lot with carrying this top this top layer, the top four inches or whatever it is, maybe five inches. But um, the the rest of it, like not the top five inches, but all the rest, all the way down, it's been cured for all summer long. So I haven't done any fires with it all summer long. I poured the cement in the springtime, like this bottom refractory cement, and it's just been sitting in the shop here all summer long doing nothing. So now that it's uh, the end of September, I'm going to tinker with it and uh, experiment with it and continue my... My experimental uh, process here, and another thing, I don't know how long I how long I ran it for. I think I only ran it for maybe uh, 45 minutes or something. But she's nice and warm. The mass heat heated up some. It's not like uh, red hot or anything like that. I can sit on it, but it's nice and warm. It's just nice. It's not too hot. It's not cold. It's just perfect, and that's only 45 minutes, so you run this thing for a couple hours, she probably heat up nice, and I plan on doing that. I plan on heating it up for a few hours. This is just the core. This is only like half of the stove. I still got to do the riser and uh, the bell heat exchanger and a front door here so that so it can breeze like a J-tube, but anyway... That's going to be the ash clean out, so that's where I clean out the ashes out there. And uh, so far, I'm, I'm very happy with it. No complaints here so far. So I thought I'd just give you a look at what the porch look like and how smooth it is and how deep my different layers of uh, refractory cement are. And yeah, this isn't perfect, but... It's perfect in a cordulation with zero fucks. It's perfect for that. But anyway, when I put a riser on here, I can put a little bit of refractory cement in there, or I can patch it up, or... I'm not even sure what I'm going to do for a riser yet. My riser might overlap, and it might seat here, and if I seat it here, I'll just use a rope gasket. I've got a brand new fiberglass rope gasket that I never used from my last stove. So, we'll see what happens. And another thing is it might be an insert pipe. If I use an insert pipe, uh, maybe stainless or something, if I put a stainless insert pipe in there, it'll probably seal pretty good inside of there because it's made perfect for a 6-inch pipe. <clears throat> anyway, that's what I got right now. Uh, the core worked good, the fire, the wood burnt out, and uh, so far, so good. And if you're interested in this stuff, you can check out my other videos. I've done uh, 20 plus videos from of my rocket stoves that I designed and built myself. So if you're interested in this kind of stuff, you can check out my older videos or my other videos or keep an eye out for ne the next one. I post videos at least once a week. Anyway, that's it for today. So uh, check them out next time.